Good morning and welcome to My West Michigan. It is Friday, October 11th, 2019. I want to show you a live picture from our WZZM 13 Tower Cam. Kind of rainy, kind of mystery, yeah. kind of kind of misty. Yeah, kind of kind of a little bit of the calm there. before the storm, I guess, right? A downpour this morning that I drove through and then a little break. Yeah, we got round two on the way in a couple of hours and we'll show you just how much more you can expect mm. in a couple minutes. Mm. Well, the man, the myth, the legend is joining us. Daryl the Barrel As is promised, here. Here. As promised, Daryl really, really wanted to guest host with us today, so apparently he took matters kind of into his own hands and made sure Catherine wasn't here today. Or maybe he just didn't want to hear you say, <laughs> here she is. Oh my God. There you go. <laughs> Catherine, are you okay? Can you hear us? Are you all right, Catherine? Oh, oh Daryl. <laughs> Daryl's a monster. <laughs> Oh, oh no. Daryl. Maybe he just oh, didn't want to hear you and Catherine sing a rendition of Roll Out the Barrel. Yeah. That could be. <laughs> that could be. Yeah. We promise to let her out when the show's over. Yes, we do indeed. Uh -huh. Okay, so for those of you who are not following the adventures of Daryl the Barrel, he washed ashore from Milwaukee in Pier Marquette Beach in Muskegon, and the city has been showing him all of the sights. He has been taking in all of the sights and sounds all around Muskegon, and so I picked him up yesterday, and to get him ready for his big TV appearance this morning, he got a shave and a little trim. This mm -hmm. is at the Crew Barber Shop in Muskegon. They treated him great there. And then I, I got, to, got to take him back to my place. Got wow. to take him home. He got to meet my little Joey. Aww. Aww. Is and, Joey sharing his toy with them? Well, I, I think he bonded with Joey's Kong toy because <laughs> I, think, I think it reminded him of maybe a relative because oh. they, they, they share a similar shape yes. you know mm -hmm. well so then Daryl it was time to chill and we were gonna watch a movie okay and so Daryl told me what his favorite movie is of course it's cars well why oh, wouldn't course. it be yeah. right why wouldn't it be right so after that he was exhausted and he just kind of crashed yeah. on my couch but here's the thing apparently Daryl has a family that is missing him in Milwaukee because the Department of Public Works there shared this post. City of Muskegon government, we are not sure how Daryl ended up in the lake, but the Barrel sisters, Carol, Merrill, and Cheryl, <laughs> have been worried sick about him, and they are thankful to know that he is enjoying a little vacation from the hard work a Barrel does for the city. They are currently working on Wells Street, which gives them a view of City Hall and some of our own lovely artwork. Mm, so this Daryl the Barrel thing has just gone viral and people are having a ball <laughs> with it. And he's got a packed schedule. He's gonna be everywhere in Muskegon later today. I think he's gonna be at the hockey game <gasps> on oh. Saturday. Oh my gosh. And it's just a fun uh, distraction yes. from the cares of the world for a few days with yeah. Daryl the Barrel. I have, a, I have a feeling that this entire show is gonna be a barrel of fun. Oh! oh. So how long do you think it took him to get across the lake? Oh, I don't know, Valerie. We talked about this I earlier. You, you, you look at winds uh -huh. uh, moving at about 20 to 30 knots this afternoon. Yep. The lake is about 60 to 70 miles mm -hmm. across, depending on where you are. So he could have made that trip in just a couple hours. Oh my wow. gosh. Uh, you Cruising. know, depending on how good a swimmer he is. Mm -hmm. uh, if he took a direct route. Right. If he was sightseeing along the way, we, it's not really clear. If he hitched a ride on the ferry. Right. Yeah, we don't maybe. know. Maybe. We don't yeah. know. I mean, you know, he's, he looks Had like help. He's, he's, he's been awfully quiet. He's, mm -hmm. he's got a microphone on, but he's been nervous. awfully quiet this if whole time. If he ever wants to say anything, we're here for you, Daryl. Always. You know, we'd love to hear how your adventures across the lake went, what you saw. If Absolutely. there's any truth to the Michigan Triangle in the middle of the lake there. Oh. Who knows? Oh. It, 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 I'm, I'm a little surprised, honestly, that you're so, so nice to Daryl concerning what he did to, to our to our colleague and friend, Catherine. Right. Mm -hmm. Catherine She'll will be, be okay. okay. She'll, She'll be, be all right. <laughs> She'll be fine. Wow. She's tough. Wow. <laughs> wow. You, you can follow Daryl's adventure, the hashtag Daryl the Barrel, on the Muskegon uh, government page. And they're just having such a they good time. They are having a blast with it. Taking them all around town as, you know, as a tourist, and people are just having a fun time with it. Yeah, we mm -hmm. want to thank him for letting us borrow him for a moment since he's going to be so busy this weekend. Yeah, he's going to be very busy. And <laughs> so, yeah, it's just been a lot of fun. And, I, and, and Milwaukee is having some fun with it as well, you know, <laughs> so with his, with his sisters. Maybe, oh maybe we can send him back to Milwaukee on the ferry. Yeah. Oh. And then they, his sisters can pick him up when they get off in Milwaukee. Well, that would be a whole thing right there. Yeah, that'd be cute. That'd be a lot of fun. <laughs>